Here's an angular displacement as a function of time graph for a rotating object. State for each of the moments A, B, and C whether the angular velocity is positive, negative, or zero, and whether the angular acceleration is positive, negative, or zero. Angular velocity is the slope of the angular position as a function of time graph or the angular displacement as a function of time graph. So at moment A, the slope is positive. At B, the slope is zero. And then C, the slope is negative. For angular position as a function of time graph, if the graph is a straight line, that means there is no angular acceleration because the slope, the angular velocity, is a constant. If it is a downward curve, then the angular acceleration is negative. Upward curve, the angular acceleration is positive. So this entire graph is a downward curve. That means the angular acceleration is negative for all of those. Now, instead of angular displacement, we have an angular velocity as a function of time graph. State for each of the moments A, B, and C whether the angular velocity and angular acceleration are positive, negative, or zero. For the angular velocity, it's given directly in the graph. So we just read off the graph. For both moments A and C, the angular velocity is zero. For B, the angular velocity is a positive value. For angular velocity as a function of time graph, the angular acceleration is the slope of the graph. So we just have to look at the slope. At A, the slope is positive. At B, the slope is zero. And C, the slope is negative. At A and C, the angular velocity is zero. What is the significance of these moments? They are the turning points. The angular velocity changes direction at these moments. If positive is for the counterclockwise direction and a negative for clockwise, before A, the object rotates in the negative clockwise direction. After A, the object changes rotating direction to the counterclockwise direction. For angular displacement or angular position as a function of time graph, this is the turning point. Before B, the angular velocity, which is the slope, is positive. After B, the slope, the angular velocity, is negative. 